As our games to continue to grow in scale and complexities, they were required the full attentions of our studio. With our focus on the certain projects, we have no plans to revisit Infamous or Sly Cooper right now, and no other studios are currently working on those projects relating to those franchises either. These characters are special and near and dear to our hearts, so while we never say never of reopening those doors, for now there are no Infamous and Sly Cooper games in the development. So they must be lying, right? Hi, I'm Skeletons and I make cartoons for a living. On July 1st, 2022, it was confirmed that Sly Cooper and Infamous are not going to be worked on by Sucker Punch Productions. Everybody was sad at that day and depressed and wanting to kill themselves for some fucking reason, but not me. I was actually fucking happy. I could have recorded myself doing it. I was dancing, I was jumping up and down, I was doing the little, uh, the, the floss. You know, the, the floss thing. That That's what, that's what kids do nowadays, right? In the past years and back, we never had a company come up to us and actually talk about the Sly game since. And the only time that we ever get words from it are these, like, fucking shitty insiders. You know, insiders, you know, like every other fucking month. So good, the rumors are turned down, thank god. What were even the rumors, and why did people even believe in that shit? Well, these rumors actually started out back in, well, in Sly 4 when it came out. Where it was just a cliffhanger, and it was being called that it was gonna be a DLC map, that Sly was gonna go on Egypt and do, like, Egypt things. But Sony cut Sinzaro off with that shit, and this ended up doing, like, Facebook VR? What the fuck is this shit? And it's almost a decade, we've been waiting for Sly to come back back for his feeding skills, yet he's eating fucking sand and yet shoving pyramids up his asshole. Fuck. It was this thing. This was a poster, the whole internet went in flames, and oh, uh, the recent rumors, uh, uh, I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid, oh, we, this isn't a fucking history lesson. The rumors started, and if not, not started, but in a public light by these people called Special Nick, Account NGT, and a couple of other content creators, I'll get into all of them sooner, don't worry. The rumors started off with the lines that Sucker Punch is not going to be working on the new Sly Cooper game, but is in production. Okay. Did you know that the next Mario game is going to be made by Nintendo? It, it's going to be wild. It's it's literally another Mario game. And it's made by Nintendo. Holy fuck! It should have been a ringer, not really a red flag. Because when these rumors were, you know, real, they would actually have something that would back it up. The reason why I don't believe this is because, well, the fourth game's made by Sinzaru, right? Do you really think that Sucker Punch is gonna pick up what Sinzaru threw down? That's a fucking no. Ah, fuck it. He's reliable. Let's just believe him. As much as you think that these rumors can be true, it's better just to have some sources to back them up rather than that's just believing every little fucking post that you see just because one person just because a one person just decided to you know just make a simple and easy statement suddenly they're reliable 100 percent and just because you spread leaks doesn't bring the hype back from the series i can't even believe that i have to say it but it, it's such a no-brainer but believe me those people are actually real fun fact account ngt deleted all of his sly leaks and predictions in hopes that you people who are desperate for these rumors to just forget about that they were made. Hope that you all like this person to continue to make leaks by making obvious and random guesses. The dude blocked me afterwards. <laughs> of course, me going after a trustworthy and reliable person, a lot of people came to the defense and the ideas that Sucker Punch is in production and that Infamous is being an MMO game like, what the fuck, whoever said any of that shit? But the biggest person who actually came to his defense and went through the comments was Canadian guy A. That he was commented saying that he was focusing on the Discord server, which is weird because why didn't you just say that to me before you even fucking blocked me? He continues by saying that he was focused on leakers and he was quite sharp. 
By the way, just because someone is confident in what they're saying doesn't mean that they're fucking true. <laughs> this is literally how people get scammed and get their money stolen by businessmen and Indian tech support people. Are you fucking with me right now? Yeah, they clearly know what they're talking about. They're quite sharp if you if you catch my drift. It's just so fucking funny. Here's the best part. There are more than one reliable leaker who supports the sly claims. I think it's kind of poetic in a sense. The rumors kind of started growing and more months passed by and it would have switched up to just adding more shit like Sumo Digital are going to be working on the games, which is kind of sad because they still didn't pick up my DMs. <laughs> to another company called Pixel Opus and... I'm sorry, but did anybody even knew about this company? Like, did anybody actually play Concrete Genie? Besides the point, they're, we're going to make it, and it was supported by the evidence, which is a job offering post in an interview article. And that was <laughs> Guys, you have to listen to me right now. McDonald's are hiring. They are going to be releasing the new mcd's nuts burger we need to get this burger right now it's going to come out next year okay the interview article is even funnier because like all they ever said was that they were inspired by the games and a couple of other ones as well like i don't think i've ever heard anybody ever talk about ico or fucking jet set radio you know as a jet set radio fan i don't think i've ever seen one person from the fandom to just be like holy shit a new jsrf game Holy fucking, it's gonna be made by these guys. This is so fucking wild. Like, even when a game being announced, like, Bomberish Cyberfunk, a game that looks amazing and great, and people are still saying that you should keep your hype down. <laughs> Jet Set Radio, and I'm happy this game is here. I'm happy it's coming out. I'm happy, but I'm cautious. Let me explain a lot. Not to sound like a doom or anything, but I typically don't give modern games a chance. You know, just the GTA remix. Everybody was excited, then they came out bad. And as you can see by my channel, I tend to stick with, you know, retro stuff. Now this, again, I I haven't seen any bad signs so far. Everything everything about this game looks good. It's made by an indie team, I'm assuming they're passionate about, you know, the past Jet Set Radio games. Every, everything looks good. But the one thing that I want to say is, keep your expectations low, and you'll never be disappointed. Because with high expectation, it comes with overhype, and when those expectations aren't met, it's claimed a bad game, or glitchy mess, and blah blah blah. What I'm saying is, Everybody should keep their expectations low. And I'm not saying it's gonna be a shitty game, but you know, let's just be patient and be cautious. I understand everybody's excited and it's it's okay to be excited, just don't overhype it. I was in the middle of like the night, like writing this script and trying to find information of like what else that they like thought of. And like my friend only sent me like two of these fucking posts and I was like, that's it? Like I I really sat down. And I was just sitting in front of my computer screen, just being like... That's it. You can tell the desperation in the eyes of a sly fan. <laughs> but that's only the surface level. How about that time when Sucker Punch... You know, they were just hiring people? <laughs> or when Sucker Punch was renewing the domain of Sly? Or this little fun one too. Nine years ago, Sly Cooper Feeds in Time was released in the PlayStation 3 and PS Vita. Sadly, it was the last one in the series. Interesting that it was was and in the last of the series and not is in the last of the series. Congratulations, you won the Cope of the Dewey Award from me. God, it's so fucking funny. Even speedrunners are so sick of this shit. Like honestly, go follow like Sly Sonic. Like he's so fucking based, my guy. But hey, like uh, all of those were in the past, you know. Like Sucker Punch just like turned down all the rumors, right? They just put their foot down. And uh, too bad it didn't really fucking work though. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! It's honestly insane to how even a huge company like Sucker Punch just literally stating that S Sly Cooper isn't coming back, isn't coming back, and even other companies are currently working on projects though. Mr. Canadian Guy Er comes in to say, No, motherfucker! No, you ain't! 
<laughs> you're not done with the series at all. No, you ain't. I'm gonna keep dragging this shit <laughs> to the ground, motherfucker. Even account NGT, the person who literally, like, one of the people that, like, started posting all of the sources, it's like, fucking dipped, bro. Like, he literally just, like, he just deleted his fucking account. <laughs> account NGT, more like account no more. <laughs> Whoa. As for Special Nick, he tried shifting the blame to, like, 4chan. <laughs> Tentically, it was someone on 4chan who just clearly dumb enough to just jump into the replies on Reddit. My guy, you're literally him. <laughs> the dude got fucking ratio. You spoke multiple times about your sources, and now you're saying that you found it on 4chan slash Reddit? No, no, I replied on a thread on Reddit, which is the source of 4chan. That I only replied because my sources told me I could. Yeah, bro, 4chan wasn't there in the first place. Your reputation was beyond repair, Nick. Where you go from here, NGT is gone too. And he just <laughs> abandoned his Discord and dipped in the scene. And you got out of your shield unlike that coward. Respect. <laughs> You gotta love that dude that's just like, RESPECT, when he's literally talking about NGT, cause he didn't run away like him, Jesus fucking Christ, you guys are fucking pathetic. <laughs> so, while Canadian guy A is trying to pick up all the dust uh, from the corpse of account NGT, I think it's a good time to mention that I saw this reply in my original call-out post, and trust me, I felt very fucking stupid a day after the fucking post, I could have just saw it. This guy faked himself to becoming an insider <laughs> to expose account NGT. There's a lot of screenshots and I heavily recommend reading the entire thing that will all be in the description. However, I will read this section of the tweet longer and I think it's actually very funny and interesting to go through. Overall, this wasn't the outcome that I wanted though. Did get some answers of how knows how he gets this information. From others, it was a frustrating how people put an account like these on a stool when they are constantly wrong or putting false information out there for people to want to believe that it's true. And this guy released this shit at March. Four months before Sucker Punch made the Sly is Over post. This shit's insane, my guy. Now back to Canadian Guy A. So, as a person who expresses my feelings on this topic and making tweets, I made a set of tweets. You know, it's really frustrating that even when we finally have confirmation, now we are just saying that Sucker Punch is lied to us about no new projects. Bruh, this is literally what we've been waiting for years and years and fucking rumors, yet users don't believe it. The same people who really talked about reliable people, and that is literally a lie and dipped because people found out. It's like no one ever wants to admit that they fucked up or wrong, and it's so fucking telling. Just admit that you messed up on the story, but Canadian guy A will keep the story going as long as we need, not like we were beating the dead horse for years. Excuse me, many that have brought up those points were different aspects and I'm exploring all contexts. If I don't believe in something, I don't make a video about it. You can say that I'm wrong, but don't accuse me of continuing to beat the dead horse on purpose. Like I didn't even at him or fucking anything. If you don't agree with this statement, then why do you even entertain the idea in the first place? You're literally the biggest person that said this, yet it wasn't you that said it, it was my fans that said it. Sure. Piece of shit, you doxed me. I never did that. My followers just did what they thought was bad. <laughs> God, where have I seen this strategy before? Where have I, hmm, where have I seen this strategy of blame offset before? It really sounds like you're trying to go both ways, so you just don't ever be wrong in the first place. He continues, and honestly, I'm already sick and tired of his bullshit. But it gets funnier later on. Today, <laughs> he threw up this fucking pull at me, and all I just have to say is, just because one gaming company lied under Sony doesn't mean every company is a fucking liar. Like, the only thing, the only difference is, is that, you know, all of them work under Sony, yet you just don't even want to, like, holy shit. Don't you think that it would be kind of weird that probably all of your audience, a bunch of other desperate Sly fans, and conspiracy heads like you, would pick yes on that poll. Don't you think that people are so desperate that they would rather not believe Sucker Punch, a company that is the head of Sly, people who created this character, rather not believe them 
but to believe that they were lying. So far, these are the only articles that have any grounds to suggest that Sucker Punch could be lying. Using Naughty Dog articles, like I get that studios lie, but seriously, these games are made by different companies and different people. Different sources by saying the same thing, even in the long tweets that NGT sent. It shows the leakers being shocked and confused. They seem just as, if not more confused than us. So to me, it seems like something odd is happening, especially that there are multiple sources saying that they were so, so sure that this was happening. And all of those infos was lining up, even lining with Pixel Opus job listing. At the end of the day, again, I do not make videos that I don't believe in. You can call me a fool and that's fine, but don't call me a liar. I believe in all of the content that I make. If I'm not convinced in any way I don't publish, I can make a video and sit for months and post it and making adjustments until the info that I believe has made is strong enough to stand. I don't purposely push a dead horse. I push up what I think has life. <laughs> in months with a video trying to wait for the correct information yeah all of those fucking videos are wrong <laughs> why are you crying to me about the way that you make your content this doesn't make me think of you as some noble fucking content creator it makes me feel like you're having the worst time of your life when you're making videos you would sit for months in that case why fucking bother? Just wait until you get real news about it. There's so many other games out there and you just want to focus on if Sucker Punch is lying or not? It's so pathetic at this point. Dun, 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 dun. Blue Knight and Miharu. Ba, 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 ba. They come in with videos. I'm gonna take Sucker Punch of what they say with a grain of salt. I hope you realize that it's literally you guys are keeping this act up and it's extremely sad. I have to read you this funny, funny little, uh, common here. If they came out with this last year with the rumors first started, I would probably wouldn't be so su uh, suspicious. Fuck no. Fuck you. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't do that. Stop lying. You would look at that and say, wow, isn't it kind of weird that a company like Sucker Punch are gonna debunk all the rumors? That seems a bit sus. Like, that's what you would just do. That's what you would just do. Even when Sucker Punch comes up to you and say, no, You'll just be like, hmm, it's kinda, it's kinda weird, it's kinda suspicious. And then Miharu comes in like, well, I don't usually get involved with the community, so maybe instead of pointing and laughing, you can actually inform us on what's happening. Venomous was the only person who offered any kind of help, so what am I supposed to do? Sorry, I'm not the one who made the fucking video about it. I wasn't the one to talk to only one person and had no thought into going into any any type of research. I wasn't the one who made the fucking video, bro. <laughs> Deleted the video since I now be put on blast for having the hopes of Sly's revival and being made looking like an idiot. Listen, I just play the games. This is why I don't get involved with the community. It's a good thing that you deleted the video, but fucking god. That was so awful. It's good that I screenshotted this uh, tweet before you just fucking deleted it anyways, because people really were on your side. Like, really. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny that I was the only one person, compared to like 56 people who like liked your video, were able to just call you out on this and then just got you to remove your video. I don't even have a big enough platform, but okay. <laughs> and then fucking Venomous messages me being like, I didn't even fucking knew she was gonna make a video. So what the fuck? So I think you should have rephrased your tweet like, uh, I'm talking to this guy because he was the only person who wanted to help me with a video about how a company is lying to its fans, but I'm not going to look into it any deeper because even though that I make slight content, I don't get involved with the community. And by the friend that I'm talking to, you know, uh, he doesn't even know that I'm making the video. So it just looks bad on him, but you know, it looks bad on all of us. Yippee. Personally, I think that one should have gotten a lot more clicks, you know, that, that would have been really good.
hello, this was after my recording, this literal fucking dumbass goes on fucking Twitter and then makes a tweet like, it really bothers me when I watch these extremely well put together video essays and the person mispronounces multiple names. Like, did you even do research to get the facts right? You couldn't even spend a little extra time making sure to get the pronunciations right as well? Are you fucking with me? That just took only one guy's like story and just ran with it and made a fucking video. Don't come to me as if you know anything about fucking research. You are literally the number one person who doesn't do research. I'm going to be super honest by saying that I hate these rumor videos. When it's a video that is well researched and looking back on the rumors for the games and movies, I think that's fine. But the way that people make their videos on Sly Cooper rumors is just terrible. As much as people shit on VV, you can tell why he stopped doing these videos altogether. It's because they're fucking boring. It's not fun to watch as a viewer, and it's not as fun to make as a content creator. Hey guys, here's a rumor. Add 10 minutes of filler trying to put together information that literally means nothing at all, but because it's a rumor video, it has to mean it's, it's a new game, you know? Video. Except, you know, in those videos, you have to be like, Do you believe that there's gonna be a new Sly game? I don't know, but I'll take it with a grain of salt, you know? Yeah, that's literally the, the phrase that everyone fucking uses nowadays. It's such easy content to make, and it's kinda shitty, because you're basically profiting off of these people who are so fucking desperate for a new Sly game to come back. These videos aren't interesting at all. Seriously, most of these videos are mostly just the same. Like, if you could just replace either one of these fucking content creators and to switch the fucking videos around it would literally be the same shit i get that this could just be like news content but it heavily dates these videos and also platforms these fucking leakers that are just proven to be fucking phonies at least with news content there's actually something you know fucking happening in the world rumor videos are so weird none of this shit even matters like none of this is just all of this is just speculation and it's not even fucking fun at all none of these videos are fun it's the most bland white piece of bread content that you'll ever see in this community i just think it's funny when actually i give out my opinion on these creators and they just have to come out to just say hey i'm not a liar when i work and i sit on a video for months crying about how they just fucked up a story by believing some stupid bullshit and they want me they want me to believe you and then there's these gems which they use a lot to sensationalize the news like some people say he cheated wrong that was disproven i just said that's what some people say how do we know if she's telling the truth why is she coming forward now who is putting her up to this so you're saying she's lying I didn't say that, I'm just asking questions. In other words, weasel words are a way to say something without really saying it. You know what I'm saying? It's another way of moving the target. See Foolacy.com for more lessons and examples. Isn't the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over? And over and over and over and over. And the problem is, is that when you scratch off most of this shit, hell, remove slide 4 off the list too. It's still ruined by rumors. People won't believe me when I say, after Sly 3 came out, people really wanted a Sly 4. And after the Sly collection was dropped, it was already put as a teaser for the fourth game. Everybody was really hyped, but the amount of annoyance was bad. Really bad since the F Sly 4 happened, a game that didn't really do well. It got really worse when you know, the game dropped and people wanted the fifth game. Sinzaru was telling fans to scream to Sony that they could just work on the fifth game. The annoyance just kept coming back, but kept getting harder and harder to believe. I think that Sly died not because of Sinzaru. I think Sly fucking died. Because of fans. <laughs> Not only that it was so annoying to the point where any time when a Sly picture is posted, no matter the context of it, will turn into a fucking hashtag and then just becomes fucking spam at this point. Tomorrow is the start of the Halloween content. Hope you all enjoy. Bring back Sly Cooper for all of us. Seriously, just don't do this shit.
Just don't do this shit and just don't be a dickhead about it. So the day before I uploaded this video, it was announced that the Sly games are going to be on PlayStation Plus. The problem is, is that it's not the native versions from the PlayStation 2, but it's from Sinzaro's collection from the PlayStation 3. Technically, the games are in PlayStation 5, but the news doesn't change anything because they've been on old streaming platforms before. You probably knew this from the BB video. Like I said, it doesn't change my stances on these rumor videos, and thank God that they're hasn't been any people saying, damn, I guess the rumors were right about those dates. Just cause those dates were right doesn't give those insiders more credit cause it's not a new game. You're literally just changing the goalpost. Post post production? I was fucking right. Dumbasses are literally saying, man, I hate these rumors too. I predicted this right the whole time. But the funniest thing is that even when they say that it's fine, it's whatever, they change their mind so quickly and go right back to hating on Sony. It's fine if you think that it's disappointing, but for you to change your mind in less than an hour and continue to bitch about it for so long, it becomes an utter obsession. And to be honest, I always expected someone like Cooper Legacy to go full stupid because of previous encounters, but thank you for being an example of these people. An average Sly Cooper fan that is so desperate for a new Sly game that you are willing to go back from everything that you say just so you can be a quote unquote 100% right for like 2 seconds when you were always wrong. And of course, you're a Savo fan. Back to my fucking video cause Jesus Christ I need to release this video, fuck. But also, you know, getting back to the topic is... I feel like we just got robbed by a really perfect ending. At the end of Sly 3, he would have been with Carmelita and all his friends. Everyone was having the perfect life and finally being with the people that he loves and supports him and cares about him. Now he's just trapped in fucking Egypt. He's eating fucking dirt. He's alone. That's fucking sad, bro. Because fans wanted more Sly for the games and not really for the story, who gives a shit about the ending of Sly 3, Sinzaru made Sly 4, a game that ended off with a cliffhanger with Sly alone. All his friends are gone, all the ancestors that he talked to, the love of his life disappeared. He's gone. He's all alone. And even like the little things, like the van, like... I really do believe that Sly 3 really did end it off as a good note, and to think that people really did want it a Sly 5 and not realizing how muddy the story is, kinda makes me sad. So now what, do we just not believe in rumors at all? Yes. I think it's fine to look at rumors as what they are, just rumors, and if they do have proof then okay. But it's always best to just wait until it actually comes out. It's just best to just not focus on all of these rumors at all. I make it sound like it's a slight problem, but this is mostly just an issue that stems from a lot of franchises, especially franchises that are very old and forgotten. But I feel like it's more prevalent in the Sly community because by the ending of Sly Fees in Time. You know, the more time that this topic comes up, I usually think that these are two tweets. There is no point in entertaining these rumors and the fact that people constantly do shows how desperate people are for a new Sly. Even as somebody who doesn't want a new Sly game, my stance is this. If we get another game, fine, whatever. If don't, Fine. Whatever. Sly fans don't deserve Sly. All of this bickering and arguments. And for what? To manufacture incite excitement? Just appreciate what we have, the art that was made for art's sake. I think about these a lot because it's ideal. Why, why do I care? Why do I care about these rumors about a new game when literally, if we did get a Sly 5, would it even be good? I mean, compared to the original trilogy to Sly Feeds in Time, people hated that. And to only to continue the timeline thing, I don't know about that. And for a remake, okay, it would just be an update of graphics and hardware, it is cool I guess, but 
That's uh, I just think it would just be cool. I think it will just most likely just be like what KO the Kangaroo would be like. The remake came out and people bought it and played it and made our reviews and tweeted it tweeted and left. Not saying that the game was bad, but the content with it just never rivaled compared to the ones that were years before. Also, since we're just throwing around ideas, I, I think it's an important fucking tweet to just say, because honestly, I, I think this is good. Um, no one cares that you predicted the game that comes out. Even if you did, no one is gonna start a convo like, oh my god, did you know that this guy predicted this? Like, no one ever does a review and be like, so, Super Mario Galaxy 2 came out, and this Twitter user uh, predicted that it was gonna come out in two years prior. So, now what? Sly, Sly is dead, and now we don't have any games. What can I do as a viewer? What can I do as a content creator? Make Sly stuff. <laughs> Even if Sly is dead and long for guy, and we could still do stuff with like the characters. Why not make some fan fictions of the characters? Why not make a fan art? Make videos about the stuff. Make games about it. You know, we have like in four entire games on our belt, and. We aren't even gonna appreciate any of them? Sly 2 is like literally like one of my favorite games of all time. And to think that people would rather talk about a potential Sly 5 rather than 2, it's kind of depressing, it's sad. Which is why I'm gonna start a little tradition for this month because we fucking love traditions in this fucking channel apparently. September is sly Timber. Sly 1 was released in September. And a shit ton of people said that there was going to be a new game that would be released in September, so... <clears throat> Sly Timber. Also, it was the only month that started with an S. In Sly Timber, I'm going to try my hardest to make interesting and fun videos that are relating to Sly. I'm going to be a straight up, like, Sly tuber this month, so if you really love this furry fucking bastard right here, I'm here to give it to you. A couple of people I know that are also going to be throwing their hat in the rings as well, and I just hope that you all would just like my videos this month and after that i'll be going right back to normal content until you know the next september you know thank you for watching my video thank you for listening to me ramble for like 20 or something minutes i'll probably put the number right here i don't fucking know about some bullshit about uh rumors i guess please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in a few days also uh believe me when i say that sly cart racing is gonna come out bro it's gonna come out